Stones of Jerry Garcia's playing is chromaticism, and you will find chromatic notes throughout. The beginning of the solo starts on a G sharp at the 16th fret of the first string, bending up a half step to an A. Typically, you would think in the key of A mixolydian that you would bend up from the G a whole step to A, but in this case, Jerry chooses to bend from a, from a half step below the root which gives a completely different sound and it's definitely worth exploring in your playing. So after we bend up a half step, we release that bend, pull off to the 14th fret of the first string, and then we're going to play the 15th fret of the first string. So we have Then we descend down a D major triad starting on the 14th fret of the 1st string, 15th fret of the 2nd string, 14th fret of the 1st string, of the 3rd string. Then we have two whole step bends on the 17th fret of the 2nd string. Release that and play the 17th fret by itself which is an E note, and that's the fifth of the A chord. Jerry lands on that note quite a bit. Next, we have a series of triads, and they are the major chord triads out of the song, so A, G, and D. The first one, A, starts on the 14th fret of the fourth string, then you play the 14th fret of the third string and 14th fret of the second string. And that's an ascending triad. Then we're going to move down a whole step to the 12th fret, which would be a G triad. 12th fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. But this time we're going to be playing it descending. So starting on the second string, third string, fourth string. Then we're going to play a D triad. This is going to be 12th fret of the 4th string, 11th fret of the 3rd string, 10th fret of the 2nd string. But we're going to play this one descending as well. So, so far we have then 11th fret on the 3rd string twice, 12, 11, 12, 11. Or I'm sorry, just 12, 11, 12, then 9. And there we are on that E again. Now the rest of the intro solo, and then the next two solos are based largely out of the A major pentatonic scale. So let's take a look at two shapes of that scale. One is an extended shape. It's going to start down here on the fifth fret of the sixth string and it looks like this. Five, seven, nine on the sixth string. Seven, nine on the fifth string. Seventh, ninth, eleventh frets on the fourth string. Nine, to the 11th fret on the 3rd string, 10, 12, 14 on the 2nd string, 12, 14 on the 1st string, and then you can play that 17th fret back to that root A. So we have
It's a good thing to be able to really know and visualize that whole shape, but the majority of these solos are based out of an even smaller shape out of that extended shape. So let's take a look at that. We have the 7th, 9th, 11th fret to the 4th string, 9, 11 on the 3rd string, 10, 12, 14 on the 2nd string, and 12 and 14 on the 1st string. It's really worth the time to learn and visualize that as you will see the rest of this intro solo and the first and second solo are based largely around that shape. So moving on we're going to start on the 11th fret of the 4th string and then play the 9th fret of the 3rd string then 11, 10, 9 walking down chromatically on the 3rd string going to slide from the 9th fret to the 11th fret on the 4th string. <clears throat> then we're going to slide back down. So we have 7, 9 on the 4th string. Then we're going to slide 9 to 11. Then the 11th fret of the 3rd string. And then we have, so let's, let's review that very quickly. Then we play the ninth fret of the third string, followed by eleven nine on the fourth. Then we have nine seven on the fourth, followed by the ninth of the fifth string. And then the seventh fret of the sixth or the fifth string. And again, that's an E. So we have. Then go up to the third string. 9, 11, 9. Again, really focusing on that E note. So we have. Now we play. 9, 11 on the 3rd string, then 9 to 10 on the 2nd string. And notice again, we're going to use a chromatic note, the G sharp, that leads into the A. And now this next part is based out of a D triad shape right here. The 12th, 11th, 10th frets of the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings respectively. So in this case, after we've landed on that 10th fret, the A on the 2nd string, we're going to play the 11th fret of the 3rd string. Then we're going to play the 11th fret of the 4th string sliding up to the 12th fret. So we're going to just approach that D in that triad from a half step below. So after we slide up to that 12th fret, then we play the 11th fret of the 3rd string, 10th fret of the 2nd string, just walking up that D triad, 12th fret of the 2nd string, then 10, 12, sliding to 14. And there we land on the 3rd of the A chord for the beginning of the verse. Let's recap the entire thing. Now let's play that together slowly.
Thank you for watching, and if you like this video and would like to see more videos like it, please like this video and subscribe to my page. That will help ensure that I can continue to create more free videos like this for you. Until next time.